Okay, well, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving and we're getting some help. Chef Rebecca Waldron is here from Bush's Fresh Foods Market with a twist on a side dish for your guests. This is one of my favorite, favorite things to make. I have a butternut squash waiting for me oh. at home. So I am listening so intently Excellent. right it's now. It's an empty canvas at this point. Yes, So this is exactly. very exciting. So what are we making today? Okay, so what we're going to do is, this is kind of, it's, it's traditional in the sense that there's squash involved and that's a very, you know, seasonal item. It's right. perfect at this time of year, perfect for Thanksgiving. But I want to make it a little bit spicier and a little bit more savory because you see a lot of squash and sweet potato recipes mm -hmm. that are sugar and marshmallows cinnamon, and cinnamon right and so I wanted to make something that is a little bit different because squash is actually naturally very very sweet mm -hmm. and so we're using butternut squash here and the first thing you want to make sure you know how to do is peel a butternut squash yes. very important step okay so um, I always like to say you want to create flat bases so that you don't have this tippy thing to peel. Oh, so um, the way I've been doing it is wrong the whole time. Right, you yeah. don't know that. You will cut yourself. <laughs> so um, what you want to do is you want to, I, I like to cut off the rounded part from the straight part of the butternut squash, take a sturdy knife, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to go right down the side there and take that peel right off. Wow. It's a lot easier. Okay. You, you lose a little bit on the side, but it's a lot easier than using a potato okay. peeler. Right. That's or, what I use. Or, yeah, yeah, and that takes forever. So I just like to go, and then um, after you get it peeled, mm -hmm. you're just going to dice it, and when you dice it, um, you get these beautiful little pieces. You know, they're about, I would say about a half inch, maybe square. Mm -hmm. And so you have these beautiful pieces of butternut squash. And my favorite way to cook a butternut squash, a lot of people will cut, you put the cut side down and roast it, scoop it out when it's tender. What I like to do is I like to roast it in pieces because the pieces will caramelize and you get a great flavor from them. So I'm going to just add a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. And the savory part that we're going to uh, to, to do here is we're going to add some ancho chili powder. And so we're going to add some ancho chili, ancho powder, chili powder and we're going to toss that with our squash. All right. And then once that is tossed with a little bit of salt and our ancho chili powder, then we're going to spread that out onto a baking sheet. And you don't need a ton of oil, you just want to make sure it's coated. Mm -hmm. Then when you spread it out on a baking sheet and you roast it, you got this beautiful, wow. yeah, you've got a little bit of caramelization there. Mm -hmm. And just till it's tender, you don't want to stack it too high on the baking sheet. Okay. So one layer, because you don't want it to just get mushy. You want it to actually kind of get roasted on the edges. Okay. okay. All right. So that is the easy part. And continuing along the, uh, the recipe theme here, what we're going to do is make a quick vinaigrette. So as soon as the squash comes out of the oven, you can toss it with this vinaigrette, or the beauty of this recipe is you can chill everything, toss it together when it's cold, take it when it's cold, so it's a very, very forgiving side dish, great for traveling, okay? Oh, that's good. That's a good thing to remember. All right, so a little bit of lime juice. Okay. We're going to use some honey as well. Honey. Honey. Now, a little bit, so we're not using a ton of honey. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to make it more savory, you could cut out the honey. Okay. Or if you wanted to make it vegan, because honey is an animal product. That's right. If you want to make it vegan, you could use a little bit of maple syrup instead. Okay. okay. So we're going to add some smoked paprika, right. which is one of my very favorite ingredients. Mm -hmm. Just a little tiny bit of cayenne. You can eliminate that if you don't care for spicy. And then what I'm going to do is whisk in some extra virgin olive oil. And that's going to make a real nice dressing that will stick to that butternut squash and give it a real nice shiny color. It smells amazing. I you know. Can smell it. You could definitely smell the honey in this. Oh, yeah. And then that smoked paprika mm -hmm. has, um, it's a smoky flavor without a meat product, which is kind of nice for a vegetarian side dish. I love that. Yeah. And so then you can mix it up with, what is this we have here, Brussels sprouts? Yep, and, and kale. So and kale. Um, one thing you can do, well, first of all, I should say that you can also buy this in Bush's Delis. <laughs> so if you really, if you right, really exactly. just don't have any time, you can go do that. But um, what I've done here, you can make it more of a salad by adding chopped kale right and then you can make it more of a side dish by adding some roasted brussels sprouts. and i see pumpkin seeds here yes yeah, so we garnish with some pepitas so we've got these little toasted pepitas okay and um, these are great because you can also buy these already toasted so you don't have to worry about toasting them mm -hmm. and i like tossing the uh the the finished product we're going to add a little bit of cilantro and we're going to, oh, so, it, so yeah, it has kind of a Latin American uh, twist to it. She's like speaking my language. Right, yeah, this is today. beautiful, this is right? Great. This is beautiful. So this is delicious, it's very transportable, it's a vinaigrette dressing, so you don't have to worry about it sitting out for a little while. Mm -hmm. And if you want to heat it up, you can serve it hot. So I, either I love way. that. You could transport it, you can take it with you, it's, it's a twist on it. I love it, it's my favorite. Thing now. I'm going awesome. to go home and make it. All right. Uh, and again, <laughs> if you don't want to make it, you could just buy it at Bush's. Yes. They have 16 locations across in Metro Detroit. Thank you, Chef yes. Rebecca, for coming here. I want to listen about this even more, but we got to talk to the break. Absolutely. But I am going to try something here. I Wonderful. want to try it. Yes. yes. Here.